Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for this May 1st, 2015, and I want to talk to you about TV and how you're watching it. Uh, but of course, go to Sorgatron.com. Please follow this and follow our blog. Sign up for the newsletter, and we got a new release coming out today. What am I going to talk about? You'll have to sign up to find out and get all the updates on what we're doing here. All the non-wrestling thing, we segment out because some of you guys want the tech, but maybe you don't dig the professional wrestling. We get it. So we're segmenting a business. This is a separation and uh, everything. So, And also, if you're around about 8 a.m. Eastern time, you can pop in on Meerkat and on uh, Periscope, typically, Tuesday through Friday, like our friend Super One, who was joining me on Meerkat from Austria. Hello, Super 121. Uh, thank you for joining us, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy and check out everything else. So let's get into this. So a really interesting story that popped up here uh, over the last couple of days. One, David Duchovny, love you in Californication, X-Files fan. Glad to see it's coming back for a limited release here. But uh, look at the end of this month. It's uh, just the beginning of May, of course. Uh, but May 28th, you can look to, and I know some of you at this point, we've talked about on, on plenty of shows, especially Rambling Movie Minute, uh, about how uh, uh, Daredevil has taken over, Orange is the New Black, House of Cards, this binge-watching era that we're in as far as television and it looks like the big wigs are paying attention. According to The Verge, NBC is going to copy Netflix by making David Duchovny's new show available to binge watch on day one. It's called Aquarius. It's 13 episodes. It will go online after the May 28th premiere on television. Wow! <laughs> uh, that's, that's really interesting. Um, so we have... They've effectively, I mean, obviously Netflix has has created a model that gets everybody's attention. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's talking about Daredevil, House of Cards, Orange is the New Black. They're winning awards. And people are watching things in a different way. And, and like we talked about, this is a, a you're sitting down and watching a 13-hour movie. I listened to Fat Man on Batman with Kevin Smith, which is a Batman podcast. And he was so impressed with Daredevil, he dedicated an hour and a half of his show to talking about Daredevil instead of Batman. And uh, and talking about he's in the middle of writing a new movie. I think you've heard of it, maybe called Mallrats 2. And, and and I sat down for an episode because I had to check this out. Don't like doing this while I'm creating things. And then 13 hours later, yeah, he watched the entire thing. What's with the 13 being the number for these as well? That's that's very interesting as well. But anyways, the, this show in particular, it's a detective looking into the activities of the Manson family in 1967. Okay, so it is going to be a nice wide arcing uh yeah, I mean, you can't do this as well with a one-off procedural thing like even even unbreakable kimmy schmidt was like uh, you know they call it chapters in the book i think over on uh on, on the twit network this week you know uh, and i think that's very appropriate and you think it's kind of a one-off thing because it is that 30 rock mentality uh for for humor and everything but no it, it, it it's 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 comedy but it's a very interesting and, and, and intricate and a lot of jokes that carry over from episode to episode that you may not have caught week to week. And I think that that makes a difference to how we consume these and those details that we do come across. But anyways, um, but interesting. So there, uh, this is, so where's it going to be? That was my first question is, well, where's NBC going to put things? Is it going to be Hulu? Is this going to be somewhere else? My um, guess is it probably will be on Hulu. Yeah, a little, a little, a little cracky there. I, I, oh, that's my Jay Leno impression. I just solved it. I'm going to work on that later in the mirror. Anyways, <laughs> but uh, according to this, it will be available on NBC.com because you're not using that yet. And uh, via the network's app on your uh, on whatever device you can find the network app, in addition to cable VOD platforms. Uh, so what does this mean? And they also say that uh, this is going to be... Uh, they're only opening the show to limited advertisers, and according to Verge, that means that people who choose to watch the show online won't be bombarded by more ads than they would watch it on a cable. I don't know about that. I don't, I, you know, I don't know. And they say cable. That's interesting since it is NBC, a broadcast thing. I can watch this on TV. I don't have cable. I have not for five years. So, anyways, uh, this is there. There's some some comments from NBC chairman uh, Bob Greenblatt. Green black. NBC, according to Variety, was fully aware uh, how audiences want to consume multiple episodes of new television series faster and at their own discretion. And those audiences have demonstrated their desire for large chunks of TV. 
They can binge watch, binge watch in chunks with, why are we saying chunks a lot? Chunks, chunks, chunks. That is the synergy word right now at NBC, I bet you. Binging and chunks of television. Uh, the opportunity to push some new boundaries to give uh, our, our audience something no broadcast network has done before. That is true, but Netflix has, so there you go. But anyways, um, this is this is monumental. You have this, you have... Um, a, you know, a world where, you know, CBS is making things available in other ways. You have Sling TV and the recent controversy even with how Verizon is, Verizon is packaging your channels and potentially violating their agreement with ESPN, and which that's an interpretation I understand. But that's going to be a very, um, it's going to be a very important battle, I think, in the long run uh, to see where that goes. TV is changing. How you watch TV is changing. I'm trying not to, uh, I'm, try, I'm trying not to copy quotes stuff from cord killers and other technology shows that i listen to and watch but uh but that is the vernacular you know uh, and 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 i think a lot of people are reacting to that and not to say that there's anything wrong with the people and maybe those people don't listen to shows like this because they're consuming their content mostly the old-fashioned way but aside from the only thing keeping me to live tv is ww raw and pay-per-views just because i know it's live and there's just a feeling of well i gotta watch this you know same with football games you know sports and <laughs> sports and sports entertainment for the most part right or events you know there's enough people watching walking dead on sunday night that i kind of need to watch so i don't get spoiled you know but but i don't and I, I don't. You know what my new strategy for that is? I'm sitting on the entire last season, half season, of Walking Dead since they came back from the break. I haven't watched any of it. By the time I get to it, and I paid for this on Amazon, by the time I get to it, I'll have forgotten all the spoilers that you guys put out there on Twitter. That solves the problem. I am a patient watcher. Except when it's Daredevil and I want to watch all 13 episodes in one sitting. And I'm kind of glad I, I spread it out over three weeks, to be honest, to digest that stuff, right? I thought about episodes one through four for a week. And then, like, through the next few. And then <laughs> the next two or three, I did that one weekend, you know. I'm very busy. Which is why I love this, because I'm not dedicated to, you know, the ideas. You know, when Hulu has those, or, or so, something like Sling TV does not work for me. Because with my schedule, with the way that my life is and my work and, and, and having that extra time, when uh, you only have a limited window to watch that episode of Walking Dead, perhaps, on Sling TV, uh, you know, like, well, you got three days to watch this. I'm like, I'm not watching. It's on Sunday night. I'm busy with uh, doing social media around Monday Night Raw for the Wrestling Mayhem show. Plus, it's a day job. I can't just put it on while I work. And I, and I want to watch the show, something like that. I'm not doing something on the side. Maybe a little bit of Twitter, but that's it. I want to pay attention to something like this. Um, and then Tuesday is just wiped out with podcasts. I don't see anything until Wednesday th during the week out of general television watching. And uh, a lot of times that will carry over from Friday the week before. So uh, so how do you watch TV? What do you think of this? What do you think of this change? Uh, are you, One, I, I don't know. I haven't seen any previews for this. And I'm not sure if this is a show I'm generally going to be excited for. That's the thing. A lot of these binge watch shows have been very excitable in general and had a lot of buzz in general going into them. And then that binge watching has done it. Maybe this is something that people are going to watch and be like, on May 29th, you're going to see a lot of people say, guys, I watched the whole thing last night. David Duchovny is amazing. It's not California. There's no nudity. You don't see his butt. Some of those people, that's what they watched. You know, so let's be honest. Um, uh, but, but, but holy crap, that thing is amazing. You know, they, this, maybe this could be the network television's true justice or true detective. I'm sorry. Um, you know, you never know. What do you think about this? Are you going to watch it? You're going to check it out? Probably check out an episode, see if I'm into it. If it's an easy way to watch it. Jeez, what is it? Yahoo Screen. I can't figure out how to watch Yahoo Screen on my screen. And I have a Chromecast, an Xbox 360, and an Apple TV, and I cannot figure it out. Of course, you could Chromecast a tab, but let's be honest. I want to watch Community in its full HD glory. Of course. Let me know what you think of that. And if you got a solution for me, Yahoo Screen, I really appreciate that. Have a great weekend. Check out the newsletter released today at Sorgatron.com. And uh, follow me. I am also putting those over on LinkedIn as well. And, and some people have been responding to that. And I've been really appreciative of that. Thank you very much for everybody that's uh, uh, putting the support in for this show. That was just a little 
glimmer in my I should talk on a microphone every morning get myself awake a little bit better and get going for the day it's turned into something completely different and I really appreciate that uh, check out all the other stuff at sorgatronmedia.com so much stuff released this week and will continually until I just can't do it anymore <laughs> and uh, keep podcasting alive support our friends all kinds of stuff we'll see you guys next time This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.